this up you guys you're watching Sergio's secret before I get started with today's video I'm gonna be leaving everything in the description area. look at me I'm wearing literally a workout top because I am in my clean girl era my fitness era I feel amazing I feel good I gave up alcohol for Lent so I have been so good I, I have been so good on keeping my word on that and literally I'm wearing a aloe set which I'll leave in the description box but Yes, girl, I have been feeling myself, been feeling my fantasy. I know I haven't posted quite a bit of videos in the last few weeks, and that is, girl, we went, didn't I not go through the gigs? I'm gonna explain it in another video, but let me tell you, a lot of things happened, and it was out of my control, and I was a little sad, but that didn't stop me from going through my uh, fitness goals and stuff like that, and so, today's video is going to show you, today's video is going to be the four handbags that I last purchased, and I'm going to be showing you and I'm going to do a mini review. So I have my Isabel Morant Moon Bag, my Troy Birch Kira Diamond Quilt, my Alexander McQueen Skull Bag, and then my Kate Bag. So those are the last four bags slash the Row Moon Bag, which I started to incorporate back into my wardrobe. So those are the bags that I've been having in current rotation. And so I decided to do a part of the bags that I have been currently wearing. Obviously, some of the other bags that I already have, like my St. Laurent 5.7, my St. Laurent K, my Chanel Classic Flap, those you always see them or I always wear them. But these are the bags that I have been that I have bought with them from November to the beginning of March, of November, December, January, February. So within that last four months, these are the bags. These are the four new bags that I've had, and then one that I have recently reintroduced into my collection. So before I get started, I will be doing a mini haul, a mini review on some of the new items that I have purchased in my wardrobe. Most of these are still available and you're going to be seeing a theme of red. So let's go ahead and get started. If you guys follow my TikTok account or if you guys see some of my YouTube reels, you guys saw that I bought some Troy Birch sneakers and the ones that I have been wearing the most, the absolute most, are going to be these Troy Birch sneakers here. So what I like about all Troy Birch sneakers is that they all have kind of like this memory foam on all the shoes, like on all the soles. And for me, that's what makes, like I'm going to pull it out. This is really comfortable. This is really nice. And I have worn these literally probably like five times out of the week um, when I'm at work and stuff. These are my current to-go work shoes. Um, I like to wear nice shoes to work, but sometimes uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm getting older. I don't know what it is. I don't. I can't hang on on shoes as I used to. Um, my Gucci loafers that I bought at the outlets, I literally cannot. I, I had to take them off, and I had to wear. Um, I had to take them off and had to change into another pair of shoes. And I never ever do that. But I noticed that it's a trend that I cannot hang in shoes as I used to. But these ones right here, I have been loving. I have yet to clean them because I want to do a review. So as you can see, the backing has gotten a little black, and I think that's just because a pair of trousers that I was wearing that just happened to turn them black. But with the magic erasers, these will come off. I will say these run a little big. I took a nine and a half, and these absolutely go perfect. And I think these are the Troy Birch Clover Court sneakers, something like that. And these have been going really, really well. I think for me, um, Something I told myself that I don't want to spend a lot of money on are uh, shoes. I don't want to spend over a thousand dollars or even under over five hundred dollars on shoes this year. And so far, so good. I have not spent over five hundred dollars on shoes, and I have purchased quite a bit of shoes. I would say in this year, I think I purchased maybe four. But these, I knew that they were going to wear really nicely, and they literally are all pure white. They go with absolutely everything, and I get so many compliments, and they are so comfortable. If you have a white foot like me. These are going to be good. What I like about Troy Birch, Troy Birch sneakers are always going to be wide foot friendly. I have not had a shoe that has not been wide foot friendly. Maybe like the classic Miller sandal, but other than that, they've always all worked for me. So if you've been thinking about these, uh, I think that these are definitely a great purchase and you'll be seeing me wear these um, throughout the rest of the year. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to buy sneakers that I feel like not everybody has and sneakers that are not super super common and so that's why I'm going to be showing you the next shoe that I have. You guys saw I think what I want for my birthday wish list. You guys know it takes me a while for me to go and buy things. I don't buy things as frequently as I used to but I did buy these sneakers here and these are the Autry sneakers. These were in my birthday wish list. I finally came around to buying them a few weeks back. They come with this, uh, this dust bag right here. I bought these in a men's size 7, which is equal a size 40. 
Usually I am a size 40 in all shoes, 41 if the shoe is very narrow. So that being said, these are a shoe that is under around under $250. Um, so I think that these are really great and I probably have worn these shoes about 15 times and I'm going to be giving you my honest review on them. So they are absolutely here. So these are the Autry sneaker. Um, I see that some of the members from Blackpink wear these shoes. Um, but the reason why I wanted them was because I wanted a shoe that was under $250 that goes with everything and uh, not a lot of people have. I have not, I have probably have seen a handful of people have these shoes and I have been thinking about these shoes for a long time. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and purchase them. And so they are right here. They are size 40. They run true to size. I would say these run just like Vejas. If I would have gotten a 41, they probably would have been too big. My first ever shoes of Vejas, I got them in a 41. But now in Vejas, I am a true size 40. What I like about this sneaker is that it has a combination of colors. So it has black, white, and then kind of like this kind of cream color throughout the entire shoe, and then kind of like cream laces. And it has the little American flag, which has a little bit of red, which I like. Because you'll see that I do have pops of red items that I'm going to be showing you. And then the other thing that I actually really like is a leather sole. I like, you know, fabric soles, like the Toy Bird sneakers. But for me, sometimes I wear socks with my shoes and sometimes I don't. If it's a shoe with a fabric lining on it, I have to wear socks because they're just going to smell and they're going to sweat through. But it, but it has a leather sole. I can get away with wearing them without socks. It just really depends. Now more in the summertime, I I do wear more socks. In the wintertime when I'm not super hot or sweaty, I don't tend to wear socks with my shoes. Um, like I said, I didn't clean these shoes at all. I have like some stains right here, just because I want you to know that like an honest review. Um, they look pretty good for the amount of wear that I've been getting on them. They really have increased at all. And I have gone no non-stop compliments on these sneakers right here. So if you guys have been wanting a nice shoe under $250, and these come in a lot of colors and a lot of variations, I would say get these. Like I like I said, I have not gotten compliments on them. And you guys know I'm not a big Nike person, I'm not a big Adidas person, I'm not a big Puma person. That's just not me. I like things that are a little bit more different. That's why I like beige sneakers and other shoes like that in that price point. If you guys have been thinking about these Autry sneakers like I have. Um, best to believe you're going to be seeing these in vlogs, you're going to be seeing me taking these to trips, you're going to see me get a lot of wear on these. I think that they are 100% absolutely worth the money and uh, I love them. So you're going to see me wear these a whole, whole lot and all my friends and family say these look really good and I love them. These are a phenomenal sneaker that I love. I think some of my, I think my sneakers or my shoe elevation is, I'm going through that phase as well. I'm not really reaching for Golden Gooses. I'm not really reaching for my McQueen sneakers. I'm not really reaching for some of the shoes that I used to love a lot. I like things that are a little bit more different. And these, I've been wanting these for well over six months and finally have them. Not sure if I'm gonna get them in another variation, but we'll see how these wear a little bit more. But for the first kind of like a few weeks, I will say these are going strong and I do get a lot of compliments on these shoes. I'm going to be going into some glasses that I purchased. You guys know I am a sunglass person. I love accessories. So um, I have two pairs that I'm going to be showing you. One was actually from my birthday wish list too. I think six months later, Sergio was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and get some of those items from those wish lists. These glasses are from Celine. I have been wanting these, wanting these, wanting these for such a long time. And I decided to go ahead and punch, bite the bullet. So what I like about this that this is actually like a little crossbody bag that you can like wear. I think actually Celine sells these like separately, leather or leather. I believe this is faux leather, but um, I'm not gonna be using it. I'll just use the regular piece that they came with, but they did come in this fun little case and then they come with a little Celine cleaning cloth on them. The glasses that I got are these ones right here and these are the flat top glasses in the cream style. I have these in black. I've had the black ones for three years and I was like, you know what? Um, I'm planning to go lighter in my hair around Easter time So I was like, you know since I am gonna go lighter I do need some lighter glasses and I didn't really want to get like a pure white I definitely wanted to get more of a cream color and so definitely these were ones that I was like, you know what? These are gonna go with everything and I love that the lens is a little bit more of a lighter to a darker lens and I just think that they look phenomenally phenomenally Perrones se miran muy bien, and I love them. Like I said, you're gonna see me style these a whole lot. And if you guys have been wanting, I and for me, what I love about Celine glasses, Celine, Celine glasses, you know, I work in eyewear, I work in accessories. 
I think for me, what's worth the money, I think Tom Ford glasses are worth the money, I think Oliver People glasses are worth the money, I think Celine glasses are worth the money, and I think Chanel glasses are worth the money. I think those four brands, if you're by Maui Gyms and Ray-Bans, but I've, particularly for designer glasses, I think those are the four brands that I would think is worth the money and what I gravitate towards, particularly Celine, Tom Ford, and Oliver People. Those are my preferred brands of eyewear. Now for every day, I do love Maui Gyms. I do have quite a bit of Maui Gym glasses. I love the quality. I love the they're all polarized. I love to wear those when I'm outside doing a lot of activities. But you guys know, look, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of working on myself. But um, once the time changes in about like a week or so, uh, best to believe like uh, I'm going to be running the trails and stuff and I'm going to be wearing my Maui Gym glasses. But um, I do have another pair. I have them in this Oliver People case because I couldn't find the case. But these are a pair of Tom Ford's. So you guys know I do have a pair of Tom Ford's. Like I have two of them that are more lighter lens. But I wanted to add another one and these are called the Francis and these are photochromic meaning whenever you go out in the sun the lens automatically gets darker. They're kind of my Ray-Ban glasses with the camera. When I go outside those lenses get automatically darker. But I just love that they fit my frame really really well. And I do wear a lot of denim. I think denim is something that I've always loved to wear. Denim has always been a staple in my wardrobe. I love, love, love to wear jeans. I love to wear denim. And so something like this, first of all, fits my big head. That's why I always go for glasses or this type of style, like this kind of more flat top, more square. I love these because I have more of a bigger head, but I love that I can wear these, you know, if out, out doing Sunday fun day and it gets kind of dark. Or if I'm going for a nice dinner, I can wear these. Um, I don't think it's super like, I know some people say like wearing glasses like this at nighttime or a little dark looks a little like douchey, looks a little inappropriate, maybe the perfect not time and place. I think lighter glasses, especially for me, a lot of my clients personally ask me, I want to wear glasses that I wear for a dinner that I can wear later at night. So it is some, a trend or it is something that I see people request a lot more. So I think it's appropriate to wear them as long as I can see the person's eyes, which clearly in these glasses you can see my eyes. Something like this, you know, they're more transitional. This is more kind of, no, I wouldn't wear these at nighttime. But something like this where they are a little bit more transparent, which is a little bit of a tint, I definitely love. And I love glasses because they definitely add more structure to a face. So if you have more like of a round face, you get more of a square glass. You add more structure to the face and I don't know, something about wearing glasses that have like a nice tint um, and you wear like a beautiful outfit, uh, you kind of have this aura, you have this presence and when you have the perfume, the jewelry, the clothes, to the nine, there's just something about walking into the room and you feel like you own it. That's just me, but you guys know I'm always a confident person. Um, this confidence was not built overnight, but confident si soy. But I do love these and these are both full price styles which I are so available so I'll make sure to leave those in the description box. But those will be uh, rotation glasses that you'll see. Um, I do, um, I'm going to be going to Houston for about a week so I'll be having like my whole lookbook and stuff that I'll be, um, um, I have one piece of clothing that I want to show you. Um, I have been into Ganny, um, I have a few Ganny t-shirts but one of the newer ones that I bought is this one right here. First of all, the ladies at the Ganny store at North Park, they're super sweet, they're super nice. I love going in there just to even chit chat. But I love Ganny because it's kind of fun, but I've also, my favorite color that I have been gravitating towards that are not like black, white, gray, cream, um, has definitely been red. I love a good pop of red. I think red looks really good with my skin tone. It used to be more blue because I wear a lot more blue denim, but something about red is something that I have been wearing a little bit more and you guys know what a strawberry means si hablas espanol um, you know como se dice una fresa like yo soy una persona fresa even though people que son fresas don't even say that people say like yo soy una mujer fina yo soy una muchacha fina yo soy una chica fina o un hombre fino you don't you don't really say people que soy fresa you don't usually say it people just know it and so it's kind of like a saying like fresa is more like I'm a, like fresa is like something that's elevated, something that's classic, somebody that's elegant, somebody that is not vulgar, somebody that carries themselves, somebody like when you walk in the room, people automatically respect you, somebody that they know like you can't, you're not easy to get. That's what a strawberry is. It's like a Spanish thing. So if somebody wants to kind of clarify in the comment sections, I would really appreciate it. But when I saw this shirt, I was like, oh yeah, this is me because a lot of my friends say, oh, you're such a fresa, or it is me fina, or you're like so bougie or whatever, which I'm not, but on the Outside, I do present myself that way when people meet me. 
I have certain standards, I have certain structure, I have certain things that I go about certain ways. And so, that's why I'm a fresa and you know, when you're dressed to the nines and you always look good and everything. So I saw this one, this one's in a size small. It says, Ganny, have a nice day. It's in red, it's super cute. I Like I said, I've been loving the color red. I think it's a very cute and seductive color and I also think it looks really well with my skin tone. So I do have this one. So if you guys have been wanting Ganny t-shirts, they're pretty good quality if you ask me. I haven't had any issue with anything that I bought from Ganny, but I do have this one that I love and it's nice and easy to pack for. And then the last thing that I'm gonna be showing you that I bought before I get started is going to be a red item and this is from The Row. You guys know I love The Row and the item that I got is this little red kind of little necklace thing that is like a mirror. I did buy like one from Victoria Beckham that's like a whistle and then from Mousy from the Mousy sample. So but I think that was in a vlog or on a TikTok video or something like that. But I saw this and I was like, you know what? I do love a good pop of red. I do have some beautiful outfits when I'm in Houston. Um, so I do have some outfits that I'm gonna be wearing and so I have it's like a little mirror right here uh, it, it, it is a true 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 mirror like if I take this uh, plastic off It's gonna see the mirror. It says the row right here I'm not gonna be taking this off because for me. This is more of a seasonal piece I, This is not a forever piece. This is something that I'll wear for probably the next two to three months and something that I won't have after that I just kind of want to have something cute for the rotation, but like I said with the sneakers, they have the little red, this is the red, um, the shirt with the red, my cape bag with the red, um, just little details with the red, Texas Rangers, like stuff like that, so I do really like this, it's, no, it's super simple, probably one of the most superficial purchases out of this haul, but I do really like this and I did buy that, so that's that and it came in a little cute dust bag, but Everything from the row I tend to really like. I'm gonna be showing you the handbags that I purchased within the last four months, and I'm gonna be giving you a mini review on them. So let's get started. So the first bag that I feel like kind of started kind of like this like new kind of handbag shopping is going to be this one right here. This one is from Kate. This is the Remy Hobo. This was a seasonal style. This is discontinued. You can find this like on Poshmark and on the Real Real. But I love that no one has this. So it is red, probably like around Black Friday, and it is a really good size. Like you can actually fit a water bottle. Like here, I have like a whole perfume bottle. Like I said, when I leave my bags, I just kind of leave whatever I, whatever I left in it. But it is a good like hobo bag. This is a good everyday size. I like that no one really has. It. The only wear is like I have like a few faint scratches, but the corners have been wearing nicely. Everything has been good. Like I love this cape bag just because it is like something you won't see and if you know what it is you know what it is it fits perfectly as a hobo which that's how i've been carrying look this little red i, I love i have been loving incorporating a little bit of red on it um i think this leather they do in a lot of the cape bags so if you've been thinking about a cape bag i think that the leather is really good i think it's holding up really good i think that the quality is amazing i love the details around the handle i love that no one really has it uh, I think this is a really good one. So if you've been thinking about the Kate Remy Hobo or just Kate bags in this leather way, I definitely do think that it is worth the price point. The next bag is going to be the Troy Burge Kira Diamond Quilt. I got this at the end of December. We're now in the beginning of March. Um, this one is more of this kind of like uh, faded or kind of like this antique gold hardware with the top handle. It does have the strap, which I have been wearing it as a crossbody. Um, this one kind of really gives me kind of like Chanel 19 type of style handbag. I love the magnetic closure. It is pretty strong. Um, you can fit a full cell phone in here. You can fit quite a lot. You, and this is the bigger iPhone and you can fit a lot. I definitely do prefer the Kira Diamond Quilt a million times more over the Kira Chevron one. I just think that the Chevron one, it loses its structure a little bit fast and I'm not really into Chevron. I definitely prefer the puffiness of the quilt. Um, I wish I would have gotten it in white if I were to go back just because I have a lot of black bags But I mean with the black bag you can never really go out of style And this is going to be one of Tory Burch's kind of more forefront styles So you won't be seeing a lot of the Kira Chevron going forward You're going to be seeing more of these more puffier diamond quilt Which I personally am more of a fan of 
and this has hold its structure a lot more than I've seen with even like smaller Kira Chevron. I just think that this looks a little bit more elevated, it looks more updated, it looks a little bit more polished, and this is a really great one. So if you've been thinking about it, I would say I like it, and this is a bag that has been um, in bright rotation, and I've been wearing them a lot with my uh, Toy Birch sneakers, and stay tuned, there's a lot of Toy Birch news coming up but um that i just can't say just yet but this is very very nice next one is my isabel mara uh i think this is the moon bag i did spray it down it still left a little bit of mark on it but not a whole lot i really haven't used this bag a whole lot i think ever since i came back from new york i probably have used it two or three times um just because i'm waiting for it to be a little bit more hotter i'm a little i'm waiting for it to be a little bit more in the summertime this gives me i, I this gives me spring vibes but i'm waiting for it to be just a little bit more hot, hotter to wear them and i already have like some blouses and shirts and stuff how i'm going to be styling it i do really like it this is going to be a really good handbag i love that it keeps its structure i love that um if it has like a little spot you can just kind of like use your fingers to kind of wipe it clean it is a little bit more of a delicate bag this is not a bag to bring to the club to the bar for sunday funny this is definitely a bag you definitely have to not necessarily baby but you definitely have to look after it so it won't get as much wear as let's say something like this but it will get wear, but I'm not necessarily gonna baby it, but I will be cautious on where I bring this bag. But I do really like it. I love the silver hardware. I think it's really, really nice. And I think this is very different. You won't see a lot of people have this. And this is the bag under $1,000 that I really, really like. The next bag that I have is from Alexander McQueen. I got this one for Christmas. Um, I love this bag. It's, a lot, it's literally about to be St. Patrick's Day, so literally, Mar it's literally March. Like, this is the t perfect time for the bag to shine like this is the time to wear it i'm going to be wearing this st patrick's weekend i'm going to be wearing this for the rest of the month of march this is definitely going to be the bag of march so be prepared to be sick of me be prepared for me to be wearing this bag a whole whole lot this is the greenest bag you can get so when you see me wear my st patrick's outfit you know this is going to be it you know this is going to be worn this is going to be with me i love it love it love it so much and i think that this is a phenomenal bag i love the navy detail on the inside of it i love the structure different people don't have it but it's very very recognizable and people know what it is and i do quite like it. the last bag that i have been using is going to be the Rogue moon bag who remembers this bag this bag made its way back into my collection and i personally really love it um i've been more minimalistic super simple i'm not as crazy as when i was living in houston i think houston i had more fun with my style i think now i'm just a little bit more conservative a little bit more classic and it's not because of the trends you guys know this has kind of always been some of my style but i like to have fun but this is one of the last bags that i use i still have all my stuff from last time it's super cute super nice this is definitely like a prada reissue an armpit bag like something that you wear like this and since i am losing weight and i am in my fitness journey i feel like it doesn't look as small it's starting to look a little bit more proportionate as the weeks go by as i'm losing more weight and becoming more fit so um this is starting to look good on me week by week and if you guys have been thinking about this bag made it well back into my collection so um i definitely 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 love it and recommend it but yeah guys these are going to be a review of the kind of the handbags that i have purchased within the last four months i love that nothing is super common nothing is super generic i think that they all have kind of like it's a little bit of a flavor a little bit of taste slash a little bit of a haul let me know what handbags have you recently added to your collection or some new things and what are your favorite handbags in the current rotations i would love 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 to know i want to say thank you so much for watching this video guys i will be doing a video uh life update 100 days living back in dallas texas very very soon but without further ado i'll see you guys on the next video bye guys and take care